this is now x minus 2 equals square root of 6. Again, by applying the square root property, pwede na natin isulat ito as is x minus 2 equals positive or negative square root of Hi everyone, this is Ashley Guzman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this tutorial video, we are going to discuss another method in solving quadratic equations in one variable by using the square root property. So, without further ado, let's begin. Quadratic equations of the form u square equals d, where u is an algebraic expression and d is a non-zero real number, can be solved by what we call the square root property. Steps in solving a quadratic equation by the square root property. Number 1. Isolate the squared expression u square on one side of the equation and the number d on the other side. Step 2. Take the square root of both sides. Remember, there are two numbers whose squared is d. One number is square root of d and the other number is simply negative square root of d. Say so using this equation, u square equals d. Like in the factoring natin, i-move muna natin all non-zero terms to one side and obtain zero on the other side. So this is u square minus d na equals zero. So pag pinactor out na natin siya, this is u plus square root of d and this is u minus square root of d. So separate na natin sila, set each factor equal to zero. This is u plus square root of d equals zero. This is u minus square root of d equals 0. Solving for each value ng u natin, this is u equals negative square root of d. And this is u equals positive square root of d. And dahil yung solutions natin differ only in sign, we have negative and we have positive but the same, we can write them in abbreviated notation as u equals positive or negative square root of D na lang. So, we read this as u equals positive or negative the square root of d. Or simply, u equals plus or minus the square root of d. Now that we have verified the solutions, um, pwede na natin isolve yung u square equals d directly by taking square root. So, tinatawag nga natin itong process na to as the square root property. Example number 1. Solve the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 15. So, for example, number 1, to apply the squared property, we need a squared expression by itself on one side of the equation. So, this is the original equation. We add 15 to the both sides or simply ilipat na lang natin yung 15 sa right side of the equation. This is 3x squared equals positive 15. Dividing both sides by 3, cancel. This is x squared equals 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, in this simplified equation, pwede na natin i-apply yung square root property. Take natin square root ng magkabilang side of the equation. This is x. Cancel to. And this is positive or negative square root of 5. So, directly, ito na yung magiging answer natin. So, for the last step, if we are going to check both proposed solutions, say x is equal to positive square root of 5 and this is x is equal to negative square root of 5. We are going to confirm lang kung tama ba yung naging solution natin. This is 3 times square root of 5 positive yan square minus 15 equals 0. So square root of 5 square is simply 5 na lang kasi makakancel yan. So 3 times 5 is 15 minus 15 equals 0. So this is 0. This is a true statement. One confirmation na tama yung solution natin. Next, for negative square root of 5 naman, so we have 3 times negative square root of 5 square minus 15 equals 0. So dito, para sa square root of 5 square natin is cancel na yan. So matitres 5. And negative times negative is positive na. So this is 3 times 5 ulit minus 15 equals 0. 15 minus 15 equals 0. So, this is 0. Another true statement. By checking both proposed solutions, in the original equation, we can confirm that the solution set for this quadratic equation is negative square root of 5 and positive square root of 5. Or, again, pwede natin siyang isulat as plus or minus square root of 
5. So this is the answer for example number 1. Example number 2. Solve the quadratic equation 9x squared plus 25 equals 0. So this is the original equation. Since we are on the square root property method na, this is 9x squared equals negative 25. So solving for the x, this is divided by 9 and divided by 9, cancel. x squared is equal to negative 25 over 9. So applying the square root property, square root neto and square root neto, this is x na lang equals positive, negative, or plus or minus square root of negative 25 over 9. So in solutions, like yung negative sign natin is nasa loob ng radical, pwede natin ilabas yung negative as the imaginary number or didenote natin as the i. So this is x equals positive or negative or plus or minus i. Ito yun. Yung negative na since this is 1, yung i kasi natin is equal to the square root of negative 1. So, pag nakakita tayo ng ganitong value, imaginary number yan. Kasi walang square root ang negative 1. So, this is 25 over 9 and simplify pa natin, plus or minus i, square root ng 25 is 5 and ang square root ng 9 is 3. So, this is x equals plus or minus 5 over 3 i. Ito na yung ating proposed solution. And because the equation has an x squared term and no x term, we can check both proposed solutions, positive or negative 5, 3 i at once. So, by checking, we have 9 times positive or negative 5 minus 3 i square plus 25 equals 0. Chicheck pa natin kung magtatama siya. So, this is 9 plus or minus 5 square is 25 and 3 square is 9. I square plus 25 equals 0. This is cancel na. We have 25 I square plus 25 equals 0. Again, ang I natin is ito. So, therefore, I square is equal to negative 1. So, if we are going to substitute itong part na to, it is 25 times negative 1 plus 25 equals 0. So, 25 times negative 1 is negative 25 plus 25 equals 0. So, 0 yan. This is a true statement. Ang solutions natin are negative 5 over 3i And positive 5 over 3. I therefore the solution set natin is negative 5 over 3i or positive 5 over 3i or pwede rin isulat as again plus or minus 5 over 3i na lang. So this is the answer for example number 2. Example number 3. Solve the quadratic equation x minus 2 quantity square equals 6. So, this is the original equation. Rewrite natin, x minus 2 quantity square equals positive 6. Kuha natin square root ng magkabilang side para makancel ito. This is now x minus 2 equals square root of 6. Again, by applying the square root property, pwede na natin isulat ito as is x minus 2 equals positive or negative square root of 6. Kaya lang, ang sinasolve lang natin is only the value of the x. So, this is x. Ilipat natin negative 2 sa kabila. This is positive 2 na plus or minus square root of 6. So, this is the proposed solution for the example number 3. And by checking both values in the original equation, we can confirm that the solution set is 2 plus square root of 6 and 2 minus square root of 6 or again, pwede natin siyang isulat as 2 plus or minus square root of 6. Therefore, this is the answer for example number 3.